negotiation. It's a good photo of I have an opportunity to create chaos. There is always an email. We are so insignificant in this cosmos. Do you want some facts on baguettes? I'm just feeding you the stories. Maybe this is The Context. News. In-depth. The Context with Christian Fraser on BBC World News. Hello, you're watching Impact with me, Tim Wilcox. Escalating tensions in the Taiwan Strait as Beijing warns the US over an expected visit by Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan. The US deploys four warships. China flies military jets close to the unofficial border. We are closely following the itinerary of Speaker Pelosi. And if the US continues down the wrong path, we will take strong and resolute measures We'll hear from our correspondent in Taipei and get reaction from former Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. Also coming up in the programme, one of the world's most wanted men, the leader of Al-Qaeda, Ayman al-Zawahri, is killed by an American drone strike in Kabul. And the energy company BP reports its highest second quarter profits in 14 years as oil and gas prices soar for consumers. That's all coming up here on Impact. Hello, welcome to the programme. Nancy Pelosi, the third highest ranking US official, is expected in Taiwan in the coming hours, although there is still no official confirmation. Tensions are high. China, which claims Taiwan as its own territory, has flown warplanes close to the island ahead of her controversial visit. Four US warships have been deployed to the region. Reports suggest that Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the US House of Representatives, will arrive in Taiwan in just over an hour and a half's time. She will be the highest ranking US official to visit the island since 1997. Sources say she will meet the Taiwanese, pre uh, Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen on Wednesday, with Beijing vociferously warning against the visit. The White House said China may respond with military provocations, although experts say armed conflict immediately is unlikely. Taiwan is a self-ruled island, but claimed by China, which sees it as a breakaway province. First, let's start with this warning from the Chinese Foreign Ministry. 